everyone, this is Neeta from Buttercream Petals Cake Art School. Piping the border of a cake is one of the last steps in the designing process. There are a lot of borders that you can pipe, but we are going to look at the two common nozzles that I use all the time. And we are going to look at 12 different ways of piping borders. This is an invaluable lesson, so stay with me while we dive into how to use just two nozzles to pipe a variety of borders. Let's get started. We are going to pipe some borders using Wilton 1M nozzle. This is a very popular nozzle. So the easiest way to fill a piping bag is to use a tumbler like this your piping bag with a nozzle take your buttercream and simply fill it in to the piping bag That's our piping bag ready for use. We are going to use Wilton 1M nozzle and let's see how many borders we can pipe using that. So the Wilton 1M nozzle, if we keep it perpendicular to the cake and pipe a draw, it looks like that. So that is obviously a nice way to pipe a border just to, you know, pipe a lot of drop flower sort of patterns using Wilton 1M nozzle. What else can we do? Let's have a look. We can keep it at an angle and slowly squeeze some buttercream and slowly pull it away. This is a lovely border as well for our cake. So you start from the end and then squeeze a good amount of buttercream, gently lift it up and now pull it back to the surface of the cake and stop piping and pull it away. Let's keep this going. We can do a cross pattern using this piping bag. So all we do is pipe a good amount of buttercream, gently pull it away and stop piping as you reach the tip. And now repeat this on both sides so you get a nice woven uh, pattern. This can be used on the side of the cake as well as for a border. Now we can have a elongated pattern similar to this pattern over here. So that would be like that. A very short one would be like this. So all I'm doing is squeezing a good amount of buttercream, lifting it up, tapping it back to the cake surface, lifting it up. So this needs to be done quickly and it looks stunning as a border. What else can we do? Let's see, if we pull it in one long pattern, that is also a nice border. Look at that, you have six different kinds of border using one nozzle, which is Wilton 1M nozzle. We are going to use Wilton 104 petal nozzle, which looks like this, like a teardrop. We are going to use this nozzle to pipe some borders now. First, let's pipe a really floral, petally border. For that, the wider end of the nozzle should touch the cake and the narrow end of the nozzle should be facing outwards and let's 
Squeeze the piping bag to release some buttercream and a simple petal is formed. So couple of the petals and we have a nice border. Let's keep this going. Wider end of the nozzle touching the cake and the narrow end of the nozzle facing outwards. Ever so lightly squeeze so we get a good amount of buttercream forming a simple curved petal. So this is a beautiful border for a floral cake, any cake to be honest. The next border, we are going to place the wider end of the nozzle on the top and the narrow end of the nozzle bottom and we are going to keep it upright and squeeze to form a heart. So let's keep this going. This is a beautiful border for Valentine's Day cake or a cake for your loved one. It's the simplest way you can do a heart shaped uh, using petal piping nozzle. Now, again, the wider end of the nozzle should be at the bottom. The narrow end of the nozzle should be at the top. We can pipe upright ruffles. It's a beautiful border. Even a single ruffle like this it will drop a little and then you form another ruffle adjacent to that and one more this is a beautiful delicate border now another easy border to pipe is a ruffle petal again wider end of the nozzle touching the cake and the narrow end facing outwards and ever so lightly bring it up, bring it down and keep that going. Now we can do a woven uh, style as well using this petal so all we need to do is keep it flat and one two There you go, some ideas for simple borders using Wilton 104 nozzle. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and hope you will try this technique as well in your next designing process. If you have any questions, do email me neeta at buttercreampetals.com. For free sample tutorials from our online school, do check out our website www.buttercreampetals.com. I'll see you next week. Until then, take care and bye-bye.